Oh, lady gamers, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be seeing the zucchini going up against Boon. I know zucchini uh, has a Bowser. Uh, for whatever reason, like Bowser is like a really popular character in the UG, in the EGFC, uh, excuse me. Uh, so I'm not really sure who they're gonna be going right now. It is indeed Bowser and Boon with the Pokemon trainer. So it's turtle versus turtle, and they're in the middle of the stage. Mm -hmm. And we are switching into Ivysaur. Yeah, this, think... is a, this is a switch I really agree with, absolutely. Um, Squirtle can like, you know, sometimes Squirtle's hitboxes are a little bit stubby compared to Bowser's. He messes up, you know, just like once. Um, but once Squirtle's in there, of course, he's gonna be able to get it and then burn with the early stock, able to clean it up with a stage spike. So... Is yeah, Zucchini finding a side view there, able to sort of propel Burn off stage, able to get the F throw, gets a bit of stage control going. I love the use of Water Gun there, just as a means of saying, hey, you know, you're not gonna get this edge guard, you're not gonna be able to get this two frame. Back off and reset the situation. That was so smart, and just like that, Burn is like able to sort of start conditioning Zucchini to uh to shield that ledge. Ah, oh, Zucchini going for it all, and Boon tries to fish through that down as well, but not able to find it. Gets a bit of damage going with that fire breath, mixing up the timing with the full hop back in. Uh, Zucchini was just not anticipating it, and I have to say, Boon looks so confident right now. able to get the side V. That is going to be able to take the stock. Finally cleaning it up a little bit. Uh, going to be going with the Squirtle. Gets the F to go and immediately opts to charge Water Gun just in case, you know, Zucchini was going to be opting to go high. Unfortunately, with the SD. Uh, man, I have to say, this is definitely not looking like Zucchini's game right now. Able to find the up and that's going to be the out of shield punish, but not able to get anything else quite yet. You always have to just keep in mind just how heavy Bowser is, how, you know, limited your frame advantage on hit, especially on the ground, is going to be uh, if he's not popped up in the air. But landing on shield a little bit unsafely, Zucchini finding the grab. Right now, no, uh, gets the punish on that whiffed bullet seed. Not really sure about why that was the option, but went for there, but uh, not really sure what they're looking for. I bet it can, like, set up into a jungle, though. And again, I have to say, like, Zucchini is not getting a little bit too comfortable trying to go for a lot of grabs out of shield. Boon has started to land safely, uh, you know, these grabs out of shield. When somebody hits your shield, there's gonna be... <gasps> oh, and again, another stage spike! Zucchini has to be able to tech these, but Boon finding the F smash, punishing Bowser and all of that landing lag. Um, I have to say, this is definitely, like, not... This is not, like, the Zucchini, like, I feel like we're used to seeing a little bit. Um, granted, uh, Zucchini is, like, more so somebody who kind of, you know, ages, like, wine throughout the set. We definitely, like, see him start to clean it up a little bit. So he just has, like, a couple of quick little adjustments to make to his play. Um, otherwise, you know, he won't be dying so early to it. Um, you've seen Zucchini play before, right? Mm-hmm. How is he in, uh, previous matches or in, yeah, previous matches or in battles? Um... I think Zucchini does a really good job of being able to jump in on opponents, and then honestly, there, there is something to be said about like the fact that they're both on battlefield. Uh, this is a stage that is so good for Pokemon trainers, um, and, and it would be for Bowser as well. But the the issue is like Pokemon trainer has like a lot of keep away tools that just sort of make it difficult for him to get anything started. But of course, any stage of platforms is gonna be so good for Bowser. He's able to kill a little bit early with side B. Not gonna struggle as much doing that, but. Going into the next game, I just want to see Zucchini uh, be able to land these techs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, going into the next game, you know, obviously having the stage strike advantage here. Um, Zucchini would definitely be opting for something maybe more so, uh, you know, like one of the flat stages or perhaps 
uh, maybe not, excuse me, not one of the flat stages, but something like PS2 would definitely give them a little bit more breathing room, a little bit more open space, make sure that, the, you know, they won't be always smothered, uh, you know, which is, which just, uh, you know, makes them, you know, like when, when Baldur is like getting smothered by people like Ivy, so he likes Squirtle, you know, it just makes it difficult for them to do anything. And I believe they're choosing Smashville now, which I think Smashville is actually a really good choice for Bowser, especially doing um, that one grab move, which I forgot what it's called. Yeah, you know, obviously having like one big center of is going to be able to make Bowser's side be, you know, so much easier to space as well. Um, you're going to be able to get a couple of kills a little bit early as well. So jumping into game number two here, but trying to open up so aggressively, immediately taking control of the stage from Zucchini, finds the confirm, that's already 56 and climbing. And Ivy started doing really good with the up airs and trying to catch him in the platform and yeah, and actually leaving um, Bowser stuck in the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be like such a challenge for both of these players. I mean, so up there is going to be doing so much, but Zucchini finally the kill confirmed with the falling new into the back. One of the classics. Uh, always the confirm that you don't expect to kind of function, but uh, you know it's it's one of Bowser's like most reliable ways to be able to get some stocks out. And again, just Burn controlling the stage, going to be backing off a little bit, just giving themselves a little bit more time to charge, letting Zucchini get right back on. Um, ooh, gets the Razor Leaf into the up air, tries to finish it off with an up but was not able to land it. And that back air, almost doing it, just a couple of percent more, and that would have done it. Wow, they were just like kind of scrapping there for the moment, but Zucchini was able to call out that spot dodge with a dash attack. And right now, we're just catching the cross up once again. Zucchini looks so much more in control of this game. They just seem to be able to jump a lot more confidently um, and, and just like really make uh, Burn. Uh, they, they're just kind of making Burn uncomfortable this game. I feel like Smashville was a really good choice as opposed to Battlefield. And yeah, Zucchini is wow. really shining through with wow. an absolute three stock. Yeah, Zucchini kind of Zucchini kind of cooked that game. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes it is it is it is the vegetable that ends up cooking the chef. Guys, that was so bad. I, I apologize. I really apologize. Ivysaur that is a vegetable. Out. It's a flower. Ivysaur is a flower. That's true. Okay, th that's actually an excellent conversation. I'm actually so glad they bring this up because I don't get to talk about this too much. Uh, what 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 vegetable do people normally call Ivysaur? What kind of a dog do people normally call him? An onion dog? A cabbage. A cabbage. They call him a cabbage dog, right? But that is, it, it can't be further from the truth. If you look at his fronts, he is actually fennel. Fennel it, like, like the seed? No, no, no. Fennel isn't is the vegetable. It's kind of similar to an onion oh. a little bit. Uh, um, go, go look up how a fennel looks like. But but Ivy Soil, I'm telling you, he, he's he's not a cabbage. You know, it's it's not true. He's he's a fennel dog. Oh, it does look like a fennel, like a bok choy or... Yeah, right? like something within that realm, but not a cabbage. And I'm tired of this misinformation being spread about Ivy Soil because honestly, it, 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 it's just false. It's just misinformation, you know? And I'm, and I'm here to set the record straight. It's a fennel dog. A fennel dog. But fennel dog just isn't as catchy as cabbage dog. Yeah, that's 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 true. Like, that's imagine a... saying fennel dog does an up air instead of cabbage dog. <laughs> veggie pooch. Our, our, our producer just said uh, veggie pooch off air. And, uh, you know, he, he always finds new ways to disappoint us, actually. I thought uh, that was pretty good. Really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but going into the next game, I'm just like so good of sitting here and like thinking about like what could have gone a little bit better for Burn that game. Um, I don't know. It just it just seemed like sometimes uh, Zucchini pressed a button and Burn got hit. And that's usually like a call out like, hey, you need to be able to mix up your defensive options a little bit more. You need to be able to sort of, you know, you, if, if something is not working and you're not really sure why it's not working, you just have to just keep throwing stuff on the wall and seeing what sticks uh, until, you know, you're able to, like, improve your game sense in that, like, specific situation to, like, really understand why you're getting hit, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Burn is asking for Battlefield again. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, that's the stage that they want on. Uh, mm -hmm. That's going to be the stage that's going to be the easiest for them to be able to go to in the upcoming game. Um, and really, the best thing that they could do for themselves is just, you know, the best thing that they could do for themselves is just sort of mix it up a little bit uh, and and just just mix up their defensive options, change up the way that they're approaching right now because Zucchini just looked so confident through the entirety of that game. <gasps> Zucchini's taking it. I guess we're going back to Battlefield. I'd love to see Zucchini Smashville in Zucchini Battlefield and seeing how he'll apply. <laughs> Um, and yeah, with that being said, we're going to be jumping into the final game between these two players. Uh, game number three. And again, you know, Zucchini is like a player that's just, I feel like he really relies on a lot of set play. He definitely gets a little bit more solid as the game does continue to go on. I'm really liking some of these dashbacks, just sort of waiting for Burn to whiff, try to catch a landing there. Um, both of them just sort of exchanging hits. Bowser finding himself off stage. Oh boy. Getting up airs and really catching, um... Burn on stage, on platforms. But Burn seems to really be doing really well when it comes to combo starting in the in the flatter areas. Yeah, for sure. You know, when he does have that kind of breathing room for himself, he's able to get some uh, squirrel stuff happening. He's able to get some Ivy Soul juggles going. And wow, that down B from Zucchini, able to do so much damage. Obviously, not going to be able to take it quite yet at all. I like that Zucchini is just like not approaching in this position. You know, really understanding. Hey, I don't need to take a risk. I have a huge lead for myself. But a good punish from Burn, just making it so difficult for Zucchini to get, to get back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. I've been, we've been, um, as the games and the sets, pro the set progresses, we get to see Zucchini's absolute confidence, because especially in the Smashville and now with this one with more um, risky options and actually getting hits. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, now this is definitely Zucchini's uh, ledge trap to be able to take his, uh, but Burn holding onto the fire breath a little bit too long, not going to be able to get back onto the stage. Such an unfortunate way to be losing that stock. Um, I don't know, I feel like Zucchini is still going to be living for a really long time. You mm -hmm. know, that first game, Burn was able to get so many early stocks because of stage spikes, because of just like really unfortunate inputs. Oh, wow. Yeah, Zucchini was trying to get a little bit mixy there with the down B. Um, you know, try to make, the, make themselves ambiguous as to whether or not they're going to land on platform, land on the stage. But either way, that means Burn is going to be able to slowly even it up again. But you got to be so mindful when you land on Bowser's shield. I think that was really nice on Zucchini when he was stuck in the platform, but was, being, was able to do a back air to get off platform and get... Um, burn off stage. Mm -hmm. And once again, just like getting Burn off stage. Now Burn has to find his way out of the corner, able to, uh, you know, come down a little bit aggressively. Though that up B probably would have taken it on so many other characters, but on Battlefield, you know, having one of the highest ceilings and Bowser being so heavy, uh, not going to be able to do it quite yet. Finds the fairy once again, setting up uh, another corner pressure situation. But Burn with the mix up, just catching Zucchini, dashing and committing. Because obviously, when you do start dashing back and forth like that, you leave yourself so vulnerable. Not having access to shield is huge. And this is such a good lead for Burn right now. But that side B is going to be able to take it, especially off the top plat. Um, relatively equal game so far because. Um... Pokemon Trainer can easily um, get the damage back. And of course, Bowser is no um, stranger to dealing damage. And it's just all about how they um, work around with each other. Yeah, for sure. Bowser only just needs like a couple of hits to be able to even it back up. But the issue right now is they're struggling to initiate so much. Sets up with the up B, not able to get anything else off of it. Not trying to, you know, I feel like in that, in, in, in that interaction, they just gave Zucchini a lot of space and let them sort of reassert stage control. That's a down throw into the up B. Not going to be able to get the sweet spot. That's going to be one up throw. That second one not going to connect. Such a good double jump away from Zucchini. <gasps> oh no, this could be huge. But Burn over committing. Oh no, this is so bad. Uh -huh, but really, really good plank attempt. Again, I like the way that Burn is just mixing up at the ledge. Oh. 
What? Boom. That's it. Uh, they I just know. took that. Oh no, zucchini. That was so unfortunate. I think, okay. I'm not really sure exactly what happened there, but Zucchini was probably just like sort of anticipating Burn to uh, only go to the ledge or perhaps just like Uppy. Um, but I mean, yeah. Wow, they just yeah. they just took that one directly to the shell. I definitely agree. I know, I feel like Zucchini was expecting the the Flare Blitz to mm -hmm. come his way because that's how he lost his stock in the second, uh, yeah, his second stock. So I, I, was, I was also expecting mm -hmm. uh, the Flare Blitz on ledge, but he just stood there. Yeah, he just kind of stood there. Um, I mean, I guess like usually like the best deterrent for that is like, sometimes all you have to do is just like sit and wait and shield, right? Because um, at that point, you're not really gonna be fishing for like a two flamer or, any, or anything. You have to be able to respect those buttons. Um, but that was like definitely in a position and from a point where you can react to that, you know? He wasn't pressing any buttons. He, you know, wasn't stuck in any animations or anything. Um, he had more than enough time just to look at that and be like, wait a second, uh, I could die. Uh, so, and just, and just like tap the L button, you know? Mm-hmm.